What is it we're actually looking at in that picture? It looks like a manicure gone wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so it's colonicia, which is spoon-shaped nails. This isn't something we see that often with iron deficiency anemia. And what we're most likely to see is are symptoms associated with the anemia caused by iron deficiency anemia, like shortness of breath, palpitations and fatigue. Thank you. Helen, why so many compared to other fractures? Yeah, so arm fractures, the NHS suggests that we have over 28,000 arm fractures a year. And actually a common cause of this will be falling on an outstretched hand, which is also known in medical speak as foosh. OK. And you also say foosh when you do it. Helen, do you want to just tell us a bit more about what Turner syndrome is? Yeah, so Becky did a really great job. You asked some really great questions surrounding menstrual history. That was the first question you asked. Eliciting what the family history might be, because I know that you're on the right path it being a genetic disorder, she was born with it. Turner syndrome is a genetic condition in which there's a loss or abnormality on the second X chromosome. So one in 2,000 baby girls are born with this condition and often they're short in stature. So I'd like to ask our patient how tall you are. I'm about five foot. Five foot, so slightly on the short side. And often this condition is treated with hormones. Would you say that you're generally otherwise fit and well at the moment? I am, yeah. 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 So thank you for sharing your story with us. Thanks, Helen. And uh, thanks very much, Danny. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, Helen, is glaucoma common? Yeah, it's a common condition. I think it's important to distinguish between acute glaucoma, which is more of an emergency, and chronic glaucoma. So our patient, Donna, has chronic or open angle glaucoma. So that's a condition in which there's an increased pressure in the eye and the concern is if this goes on for a very long time without treatment that it can damage the optic nerve which is a nerve that connects the eye to the brain which can lead to visual problems um, so I'm really keen to know if Donna you want any treatment at all for this condition yes I'm on eye drops which I have to put in both eyes every night and are you otherwise well with this yeah thank you for coming on and chatting to our junior doctors today thank you uh, let's bring Helen over to mark your answers. OK, Helen, let's start with where is the largest nerve in the human body? OK, so let's have a look, see what we've got. OK. And let's check you as well, if you want... Oh, here we go, OK. All right. This is a tough one. So the answer is, it's the sciatic nerve. And this starts in the lower back, so if you want to turn around for me, it starts in the lower back here and it mm -hmm. extends through the back of the leg. And this seems to be more in the thoracic region. Um, so I'm going to give you two points. OK. I'm afraid no points to you on this occasion. OK, and question two, draw the location outline of the T4 dermatome. OK, so the T4 dermatome, so we've got something on the left side of the chest wall here, and you've got a band here across the chest wall. Can I just turn you both round to see if we've got any other scrawlings? No, and... OK, back round again for me. So the T4 dermatone is a dermatone that includes the nipples, which is in line with the thoracic vertebra, the fourth thoracic vertebra. So in theory, it should be in a band going across here all the way around. Yeah. Um, so you're both close. I would say I'd probably give you one point because you've got it on the front but not the back. And a little bit on the high side here, this is more in the T2 region. So no points, but still a really good attempt. Finally, uh, draw on the zygomaticus major muscle. Let's have a look then. So we've got some, it looks like tribal markings, doesn't it, over the left cheek yeah, there? Yeah, that's what I was going for. And here we've got an arrow pointing to the I right... to it. ..pointing to the right cheek, OK. So this muscle is the smiling muscle. So it starts at the corner of the mouth and extends <laughs> up to the cheek. So based on that, I'm going to give you two points, yes. so well done. And I'm going to give Kettering one point, because you've definitely got in the right region, but what I really want to see was that nice muscle extending up there into the cheek. Well done.